Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this quick and easy card. It is using the Good Morning Magnolia and I don't know if you can see but we have dimension on this. This idea came from Pinterest and the pink came from Pinterest. What it was, I seen two cards I liked with the magnolia stamp but I combined them both so that's what I've done I can't remember who or if there was a name to it I haven't got my phone near me to look but yes this came from Pinterest uh, to make this card I've used a white card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I have a scrap of black for the sentiment. The black I have done in white um, Whisper White ink, craft ink because I have no embossing, white embossing powder so this will be cut down. The pink uh, dots are with Rococo Rose, one of the new in colours. The stamp sets I'm using is Good Morning Magnolia. We're going to be using the flower and the word thanks. Beauty Abound, and we're just going to use that splatter mark. And that's it, and that's all I've got to use. Oh, and I've also got an A4 sheet of um, white cardstock to stamp out the two more flowers so to get started we need one of these the stamp and the black ink And this I am going to stamp just ooh my knuckles are in the way. There. That's quite nice. I'll bring this down and I'm just going to ink up the flower a bit, don't need the leaves. And we just stamp that down there. And we need it again. Just the inner flower actually on this one. one side to dry and clean off the stamp Then we need Rocco Rose and a post it note that this bit will do and our splatter stamp. And what I did was just cover up the petals there because I didn't want rock or rose to go on the petals and stamp it off. We will get a quite a, 
and like an abrupt stop to it. How many times did I do it? Three. So this one is quite easy. She says, I think I covered up this leaf. Ah. Take it down there a bit. And then I did a little bit just under this bottom leaf. Just like that. I can go to the bin. That's all I've done there. Right, with the craft white and my black. Don't use this for ages, and then all of a sudden I'm using it all the time. I'm going to just stamp that there. stamp cleaner on that. That's a pigment ink. Right, we'll let that dry and I will go over that to brighten up a bit with my gel pen. But we need that to dry first. Bring these back and with my scissors we're going to cut out Any sticky bits on your scissors? Better. We're going to cut out this just the flower, don't need the leaves. a bit smaller. Better. Don't need that. Don't worry if you um, don't get all the black because I've got a solution for that. Bet you get fed up with me, fussy cotton. I think I said that last time I made a card. And we fussy cut. Like this one, I just want 
the four leaves in the middle. Rid of this. Now, with your black, dark, basic black, is it basic black? Yeah, dark, basic black, and the brush end, and with the flower away from here, so you've got the back to you, just go around the edge. Doing it this way with the back to you. If you do slip, it goes on the back of the flower, like I've just done, and not the front. And then we have a define stamp. Now we're going to do the same with the big flower. all like that on the back. That's all we need to do with that. Now you want to take your bone folder and just gently just bend up your petals. On both parts. We're going to stick this down. And stick the inside in. Now with this, all we're going to do is glue the middle, just a bit of glue in the middle and line it up so if it was laying flat it would cover the flower underneath. And the same with this, we stick this on top of 
this one. Just flicking them up with my nail. Finish with that. Now then, this thanks my gel pen. All I did was got it going and just follow the word in round. Where it went a bit thicker, I just did a double stroke. And that makes it stand out a lot better. And then we'll just cut this down. And I know the scissors jumped at the end. That's better. And this we're going to sit there. On dimensionals. Just at that there, lining it up with the white cardstock and hopefully straight. Now in my gems I have black and white gems but I also have some very vanilla baker's twine which I'm going to tie in a bow. It wants a little bow, I don't want a big one. That'll do nice. going to stick that on there like that in fact them are too big to glue on the back And with 
these gems. I did. Medium one, a tiny one in black, and then a tiny one in white. I did a medium one and a medium one in white there. A large one and a medium one there. And a medium and a medium. In fact, that was a tiny. Yeah, that's all. I hope you like that card. <coughs> if you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.